This is the Texas Instruments Speak and Spell. I think this is late. Well, this says 78 on here. And uh, I purchased this to cannibalize it for some parts. So I'm looking for some chips that I can uh, use for the Heathkit speech synthesis training course uh, that I purchased but did not have the parts. So uh, I'm interested to see what uh, Texas Instruments parts are in here for speech synthesis. I mean, other than, it seems to work. Um, I think the seller said that there were some features that did not work. Say it instead. Say it. Spread. Say it. Woman. Spell push. P. U. S. H. That is correct. Now spell word. So this, let's take this apart. Looks like there are two screws on the back here. So I've removed them. And let's just split this open here. See how difficult this might be. Any hidden screws? I don't think so. Hmm. Might be some tabs I need to push in. So it does look like there are tabs that need to be pushed out of the way, I guess, as you're opening this up. So, let's see if I can do that. Yeah, so these tabs move toward the edge. If you look in each of these little notches, I already got this side, let's see. There you go. And I think there are two more here. Yeah, there are two more tabs. These here you push toward the top of the handle, and the ones on the sides go push them toward the edge. And this comes off. And you can see the tabs here that you had to push. That's this one. This is the side views. So here's a circuit board and the speaker. Doesn't even look like there's screws. There's just another tab keeping this in place. Push this tab out of the way. And something's still holding that down. Looks like there's pretty hefty wires holding the uh, going to the the button panel here or keyboard so if that comes out this tabs holding that in place too Hmm. Interesting how they have that connected. You have to unsolder all those wires to get this out. Alright, so I was able to push this board uh, forward 
um, and it releases from the tabs. So I've got it's two pieces here. The buttons are two pieces here. And there's the display. Let's see what we have for a chip here. They have got this, they have this rigid, these rigid wires connected to these pressure um, connectors. I don't know what they call these boards here, little bubbles that you complete the circuit. That's how you enter in the data or the commands. Let's spread this apart here. You can see the rigid wires. Pretty, pretty strong, able to just bend that without breaking anything. And so we've got TMC 0271NL. It's a larger chip here. It's a nice display here. It's almost like a Nixie tube display. And here's a close-up of the chips. This here is the microcontroller. TMC 271, TMC 351 and 52, the two ROMs, and the uh, TMC 281, which is the voice synthesizer chip. So this is the initial breakdown of the speak and spell. I did find out that um, this is called a vacuum fluorescent display. And I'll be removing these chips so I can use them with the Heathkit voice synthesizer course. did find some initial uh, data sheets on some of these chips. Here's one of the data sheets I was able to find on the internet. This covers the TMS 5220, which is similar to the TMS 5100. Hopefully the data sheets with the Heathkit course will uh, help me be able to connect these up um, for the experiments that they have in that course. So this is the initial breakdown. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and or leave a comment. Thanks again.